at all them cows dancing about over there. I'll leave her. Oh my god, no, it's his butchering them, no. This is a disaster, there's carnage everywhere, and there's babies, there's baby cows, no. Why is this happening? This is so much carnage. And it doesn't stop. Why? Come to me now. Why did I have to flick the switch? Ooh. It's all in the mind. <laughs> Hello everybody. This is going to be some redstone fun. This is a mincer kind of contraption here. We can get animals or mobs or whatever you want in there. I mean stuff and you can collect this stuff in here. Let's go for some what it's gonna look like. It's not exactly very complicated. That's how it looks. So let's get started. Okay, um, I first got started by using three, four, five, six. I started with the floor, uh, move the floor, so I'll do the same again here. I'm getting the switch in the right place as well, because you're going to be standing here when it drops. You want the switch to be here, like that. So it's going to look like that. Hopefully when you click switch, connect, click switch again, you're free to go like the stuff. Cool. Go ahead view again. Just like that. Okay, we'll keep that open for now. Okay, next up we are needing to get down the squishy things. I'm going to make them out of gold. that uh -huh. so and, uh, over here nothing on it over here nothing on it and level on the top take away these two middle levels and put your yeah, sticky pistons up, up in here Not too sure how long they have to be. Um, I did five here, some have done seven and stuff. And because I've got the floor over this side, I want the lever for the mincer to be on this side. So you've got to set up like this. Next up, you have to do a staircase down from it. Just turn like this because you want to have your lever right there. Make it touch like that. Perfect. So let's put your lever down in your redstone. So you probably need a repeater as well. The repeater about hmm, here. Uh, uh, I haven't done this right. Let's fudge. <laughs> ah, fudge, fudge, fudge. Okay, yep, like this, okay. So I'm gonna meet up on the top. Next you pull the switch to make sure that all the pistons are again fed. They are perfect. Next 
the only thing that drips some redstone to make it go up and down, up and down, up and down. Never ending redstone current. So first, you have to knock out the supporting blocks like that. Then connect up three torches before we've just knocked it down. Because it's a continuous knocking motion to switch it off. And again. Perfect. Again, just um, from the switch, you do a drop away over there, do a track over there, then do three steps up. One, two, three. Then one to this side, which connects it up to the pistons. Rest it all the way down the path from the top, stepping down all the way to the bottom. Probably for a repeater in there as well. Keep it going. Then what you do is you knock off the supporting beams. One, two, three. Then the three places we just knocked off the supporting beams, you put redstone torches. Now I flick the switch. That's never ending up either anything. Okay, what you do is uh, I'm not sure maybe you'd want to connect this up to a spawner. Just have it spawning stuff down so you can just kill it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The water straws should go here. Like this, and should reach the first. Nope, not far enough. One, too close. Like that, perfect. Okay, let's try it with chickens. I've never actually tried with chickens before, so this will be interesting. We do cover up the gap here, and we'll be set to go. Come on, chickens, come to me. Some chickens might be too, yeah, chickens are too small. These guys can march out. I've got a couple of things there, so let's collect them. Come to me, chicken stuff, come to me. Yay. So some's left there. Oh, it was cheeky. Okay, and uh, let's try skeletons. There's altars down there so they won't burn. It's probably a bit loud. There they are. Kill the skeletons! Kill the skeletons! You okay, do you, chicken? See, it's not like very fast, but it's just a good way of crushing the enemies. Try zombies! Let's try doing one if it doesn't fail. Zombies. We're there for the going, so there we go. Kill the zombies! Die zombies die! Die zombies die! Die zombies die! Zombies die! Zombies die! Die zombies die! Will your zombie die? Perfect. Moment of truth. The creeper. Because if this fails, then yeah, the whole thing will blow up. Okay, they're there. They're ready, and they're looking very angry. Very angry. Very angry, yep. Will they blow up? I don't think they will. They're going pretty close. Yeah, awesome. We want you to like, go like that as well, suffocate them in the wall. Oh, I'll show you some other prototypes I've done of it. And here we go. Again. This is the first one I showed you in the demo. Exactly the same. Except the water doesn't flow. So I've got it one for back, so 
when you drop stuff that drops you can walk in and out pretty easy and there's this one which is a double one which is pretty darn cool you'd have your mob trap falling down from the sky into here whatever it is that you want just like that, there's quite a lot there so down just gets done twice as much really just put everything die and all that stuff there In general, is a similar kind of design, just uh, bigger, really. Because it is a double, as you see in a second, until everyone dies. Because it is a double um, piston door there. So, you do need to do some underground work for that. But if you want me to do a tutorial of this bigger one, then leave a shout out and I will. So thank you all very 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 much 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 for watching. Really appreciate it. If you want some more redstone ideas, redstone fun, then like this video, leave a comment, do whatever it is you great guys do, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!